Well, that was that was the downfall. That was the downfall between our characters. It didn't quite all started well. Of, yeah, yeah. It all goes so smoothly. Less said about the middle, middle the better. Young and couple then... from you know from uh, from New York uh, who go on a honeymoon. They're, they're, everything's going well. They're in a beautiful, happy, fun relationship, and they and they kind of go away on this humble little honeymoon to my the, grandmother's cottage. My grandmother's cottage, and um, and to go away from it all, get away from you know phone service, all of that stuff, all that stuff you really shouldn't do if you're actually in a film. <laughs> so um, anyway, it all goes a bit wrong, and things start going bad, and uh, and doubt, there's a pressure cooker. And, yes, that kind exactly. Of happens. And you suddenly, you know, you you're there, kind of watching this seemingly very strong relationship begin to dissipate and just begin to. Oof, kind of crumble in front of your eyes. So it is. It's a. It's a. It's a tough thing. It, it to sort watch. of taps into that idea that that's, that's sort of universal of all, us all trying to find that person that we can give all of ourselves to, to and, and love and trust with everything. And what happens if that starts to be not so concrete and so sort of seems so sort of strong? And uh, that's the biggest fear. I it was a big fear, I think, for for people. So yeah, because it's a risk, isn't it? Yeah. It's a jump. This is. You know, hopefully for the rest of your life. Yeah. So you kind of want to get it right. Yeah. He, on the other hand, you didn't get it right. No. <laughs> if you were, well. each of you were in Paul's position, you know, you see your spouse mm. developing these kind of behavior. Yeah. What would you have done differently yourself? I'd have tried to get a phone question. signal. I would have tried to. You would have found the car some keys. Help. Just oh, find the car keys. But you, but you had hidden them cleverly, hadn't you? I had. Because <laughs> you were in a little bit of a funny mood. <laughs> I wasn't happy that day, okay? No. Um, <laughs> someone was playing hide and seek. Um, but uh, I don't know. I, mean, I think that's the, the, the thing about it is when you're reading it, you're like, I mean, I, you know, there's portions of it where you think, I could, you, how could someone behave like that to someone that they love? And how could you, how could you do that to someone? Um, but given, the, given being actually in that moment, then... I think we all can behave in ways that you wouldn't necessarily predict, and um, I think that makes it real. And that they're scared, you know, they're scared of what's happening, the change that they're seeing in the other person there, and so um, they're kind of not really. They, they, they start to lose touch with their best selves, perhaps. I mean, Paul does. You certainly lose touch right. with your best self. <laughs> seen you, seen you better. <laughs> <But>, uh, <laughs> I found that what scared me about the movie was not her behavior, but his commitment, you know, to still there. To help her. I know, isn't We've that so much love? It's, she's a lovely, she's that's that's a so lovely much girl, love do you know what I mean? It's she's so, so sweet, and it's like, he does Paul, love carry her. carry on. He does Nay, love her. No, you're fighting a losing battle, but yeah. go for it. Yeah. Go for it. I should have hidden you, but <laughs> anyway. anyway. Um, I mean, they, yeah, just to the end, you know, they're just, they're literally fresh off their, their, off their marriage vows, so... Um, they are fighting for One each another. other. Yeah. Yes. And of course she's fighting for him. She's fighting for him. She's trying to protect him. She's, she's not wanting Paul to ever be aware of the kind of transformation that she herself is going through. And also she, in her head, knows that, that you know, if, if, if you do become kind of like a parent of it, you're going to die. So she's, right. she's protecting you and wanting to keep you safe. And, you know, that is a form of love. It's not safe, though, is it? It's not what safe. Do, I anyway, did kill you in the end. Cool. But yeah. uh, lastly, uh, what sets apart this movie from other maybe horror thrillers, psychological movies? Sorry, what was that? What, what, what sets this movie apart? What I loved about it when I read it was the sort of minimal characters in it, the small location, a very intimate sort mm. of, like, uh, smallness uh, of the film. It's not a very great way of putting it, but... The fact that you're taken into it as a real relationship story, you really, you, you, you're kind of taken in as this very um, real kind of organic relationship, which I think Lee and Phil wrote, and um, and then the horror comes towards the end almost as a sort of uh, a secondary thing to a to a sort of to relationship drama, yes. and so when you when you when you put in horror or sort of psychological thriller elements to a story which has taken its time to build. A foundation of kind of reality then I think it's more surprising than if the whole tone is arch and kind of yes and you're aware kind of like what the end is it's kind of like there's, there's a surprise in yes there.